In this video I'm going to be showing you how and why you want to be painting your plant pots white, especially if you're living in warm climates. So as you can see here I've got this nice blueberry bush growing. I took it off for a friend, it wasn't doing well with them and since I repotted it in, uh, in some acid soil for azaleas, um, it started doing really good. But summer's coming on now and it's getting really hot. And the problem is with these pots that they, uh, they soak up a lot of sunlight. And if you just feel this pot, if you could feel what I'm feeling now, it's pretty hot. And what I've done is I've actually cooled it down with some water. And the problem is with these dark colours, they just soak up so much sunlight and you basically start cooking your roots. And a lot of plants, I, all, I have all my carnivorous plants, Venus flytraps, in plastic, white plastic pots, and it keeps the soil nice and cool. And it's true of any plant really, especially pot plants in hot countries like this, they get way too hot. So what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to paint them up. I'm going to be planting another blueberry bush, as you can see there, in this pot. But I want to paint them white and, and the white will reflect a lot of sunlight. If you see over here, I've got a Damodinocci plant growing and uh, this is a white glazed pot, kind of kind of white but it's, it's nice and light. If you just feel that, you feel the soil inside, it's lovely and cool and, and that's probably got a quarter, a quarter of the heat that is building up on these pots here. No good, I hate, hate dark colored pots. It's all right for you guys living in colder climates in England, might even, you know, it'd be fine, there'll be no problem, but in a hot climate like this here in Spain, just no good at all. So what I've got is a good quality primer, Jotun, and it's a multi-use primer, and we're gonna give this pot a good couple of coats. So I'm just gonna go all the way around cutting in at the top there. What I'm using is a synthetic based primer because I've, I've, I believe synthetic, being a painter is my job, I believe it's got much more adhesion than, uh, than your acrylic primers. But then once this has dried, I'll be able to put a nice acrylic finish over the top. I'm going to let this dry for a couple of hours and then I'm going to just use an acrylic enamel based paint to paint on top. Something where what's a bit shiny, not too shiny, but it'll be just easier to wipe down than if it gets any stains on it. And uh, keeping it white so it can reflect as much light as possible, keeping them roots nice and cool so it's not stressing the plant. I think that that's what, if you look at the plant, it's looking a little bit stressed and especially when the sun comes out in force and that's my suspicion when you feel the soil it's hot I'd not like to be stood in it all day at that temperature so this has been drying a few hours now it's been about four hours ago since I painted this we're well into midday it's about three o'clock so it's uh, the hottest part of the day and just feeling this you can feel it's just warm to the touch it isn't it isn't like before you touch it and it was almost hot to the finger but um, so you can tell how much heat this white paint is really reflecting and this primer look at that ain't coming off that's gave me a nice good surface now to put on the finishing coat and if you look at the plant it's still slightly drooping slightly you can see here but I can see that it's picked up a lot more than it was before so um, hopefully that's going to be the solution if I just put my finger in that soil now nice and cool you know if you could get your finger in there you'd know what I'm talking about but if I, if I just stick my finger in there it's not warm at all before it was warm so it just shows what the difference the color of your pot makes if you do live in a hot country and you're looking for a pot for your plant Make sure you buy one what's either glazed white or is white. These ones I got for free. Um, the scavenger that I am. Um, saw these at the side of the road and they were in the back of my van. 
like this. So, <laughs> otherwise I wouldn't have bought them being this colour. Uh, unless they're going in a shaded terrace area, but especially when they're seeing a lot of direct light like that, you want to keep away from these dark colours. So, uh, thanks guys for watching, that's my little gardening tip for you today. I'm actually in the process of planting some blueberry, another blueberry bush and, and in the process of videoing it. Just wanted to paint these pots white first so that video will be out shortly. How you can grow blueberries and, and what soil you need and that. Be sure to subscribe, like, I'll see you later.